Hey guys, wanted to give you an update on the shroud that I made. And I hope it helped some of you guys get an idea how to do one for a fraction of the money. So as you see, I still have not glued it down uh, to either side. And of course, remember, this is the dollar store Velcro. So the stickiness part of it doesn't last. So I got to do that. But there is one little thing in case some of you guys didn't know that want to build your own that I wanted to have an update. So as you guys know, this is a three truss Dobson. Now I think I made it just a, like it's, it's just fits, but there is one, I mean, besides just gluing it so it holds permanently, there is an other concern. I wanted you guys to know. So, I think I need to expand with the joint here. I'm gonna try three inches, three and a half inches. It doesn't need too much. And the reason is when I do close it like this, I don't know if you can kind of see, it becomes kind of tight. It becomes kind of tight and it becomes like flat, not round. See, it's kind of, and because this is a, it's hard to see, I guess. But because this is a three, you can probably see it there. See how flat it is, it's not round. Unless I push my arm inside and fluff it up. So I noticed a couple times when I was up north on the Bordeaux 2 zone. So unless I do this, I go inside and then fluff it up. So on the three sides. Now, so the thing is, because this only has three poles here, it's in a triangle. So if this is too tight on this type of model, then it is also going to be, it is also gonna be like a triangle, which looking through it, I can see a little bit of the corners are cut off, which means I'm losing a little light. Now, if this guy was a four pole, you know, like one, two, three, four, it would wrap around more of a circle be a little bit better or if it was a five or six pole or seven or eight pole truss tube it would have more of a circular but because there's only three there's nothing holding it between this guy and that guy there so i think a way to fix that again it's probably very easy is if i make this it could be tight up here and tight down there so it can hold it but it needs to be more relaxed in the center. So I'm thinking if I do like three and a half inches, it won't be as tight and it'll be more loose. So I could probably try with like, I'm thinking, cause it's not that much room I need there. Like it's, it touches now, like you see, it starts to flatten. So maybe I should try with four inches, three and a half, I don't know, something, it's a learning curve, right? And that way it's more, relaxed and it won't straighten out as much but besides that it worked very well so you got to take that into consideration these are like a learning curve so it would be impossible to know prior this is the first time i've done a shroud and just so you guys know too so if it's a three truss dobson if i did 50 inches here so i probably would need 53 so it's just more relaxed and it doesn't flatten again if it was a four minimum, it would have more poles, so it would wrap around easier. Maybe then it might still, if it was too tight, just a fraction of the edge might cut off maybe. But again, if it was six or seven or eight pole system, it probably would be fine. But because it's a three, and if you squeeze it too tight, it's going to flatten out. So I just thought I'd mention that to you guys. So I am going to leave the bottom as is, only in the middle, Will I add, I think I'm gonna do three and a half inches, which I think is gonna be more than enough. You know what, maybe I'll do four inches, just to be safe, because I could always cut more if it ends up being too loose. Because it's tight up here and tight down there, it shouldn't collapse. But besides that, no do, hit my secondary, stop the stray light, so it worked well. Anytime you do a DIY, type of handiwork, there's always gonna be a learning curve. I just wanted to show you guys that little video. If you 
we're gonna build one based on my video uh, type of thing. Just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, we got a ruler here, a knife, scissors, magic marker, tape measure. Let's take down the shroud from the telescope. Okay, we're doing four inches. Oh, my cutting is not perfect, but what the hell. I never said I was a seamstress. Okay, a little bit of contact cement. Let me spread it a little bit. Put it over. Let me just put bristle board here. I don't want to make a mess or leak. Let me put more contact cement. And this is gonna be for the Velcro. On this side, so we put more Velcro. So I think I cut four inches, but just take into consideration that I have to over that I have to overlap like three quarters of an inch, so it's not totally four inches. It's about the three, I don't know, three and a half inches or so. I feel confident that it will work this time. Well, first of all, this pro this problem is going to be solved with the Velcro coming out because now it's going to be glued and stickiness. So that should be done. Ugh, let go. And uh, so the Velcro should be now much better and the extra length should be able to wrap around it more better. And that's it. Okay guys, so here is the finished shroud now. So you can see that's where I had the Velcro. This is where, I know it's not perfect cut, oxy glued here. So it was four inches, but I had to overlap uh, half an inch. So it's like three and a half inches. And it looks like it's not as flat when it's tied. So I think that would work. But again, it's not a professional type of thing, but as long as it works, again, probably cost me like 25 bucks compared to 160. So I think it does the trick. I mean, it did the trick before, as far as keeping dew out and straight light, not so tight that it's not gonna cut off the light. Okay guys, talk to you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Um, please share my link if you know anybody getting in the hobby or on the forums. And I do have members video where once a month I do post a video strictly for the members. It does not go on the regular part of the channel. And it costs 99 cents if you'd like to join that and see something you won't see. And why not you? Why not me?